Good afternoon for the Max Stern Athletic Center. My name is Yoni Lab alongside Sammy Levitt. Sammy, we've got quite the matchup today. Number three seed TABZ Storm versus number 14 Fuchs Mizrahi here at the Sarachek Tier 1 Qualifier. Tell me about what TABC has done this year to make them so dangerous. Well, this is a good TABC team. They went 12-5 in the Yeshiva League this season, but they're coming off a tough loss against SIR last week in the semifinals. But this team is a good team. They won the Gold Women Tournament in LA back in November, so they've proven that they could beat some of the best teams in the country. Now perhaps the lesser-known team, Fuchs Mizrahi, coming out of the Midwest. They've got quite a bit of firepower as well. What have they done this year, and are they underrated? Yeah, I think this team is better than what their seeds suggest. They've had a really good season going 15-4. and four. They've had a tough schedule in Ohio, and they too won a tournament winning the David Tansman Memorial Tournament in Detroit three weeks ago. This team is fully capable of pulling off the upset here today. Absolutely. This matchup has no shortage of star power. Talking about a matchup that you're particularly excited for. I'm looking at the matchup between Natano Benlulu and Ephraim Blau. These two are very good. They're both great for their team. Benlulu, he can shoot, he can block shots, and he can come up clutch late in games. And if Ryan Blau, he's the leader of the team. He can put the team on his back and take over games. When he plays well, the team plays well. And they're going to need him to play well today if they want to win. And beyond the star power, of course, each team with so much depth. Finally, what are some keys to victory for each of the squads? Well, for TABC, it's going to be about taking care of the ball. They had too many turnovers to their liking against SAR last week. So if they execute good offensive possessions today, they'll be good to go. And for Fuchs, I'm going to look for them to take advantage of their size. They're a bigger team than TABC, so they focus on scoring in the paint. They'll be able to open more shots outside also for good shooters like Nate Jacobs. They had big threes on the outside. 100% it's sure to be a great matchup. We have TABC Storm, a juggernaut Yeshiva League team out of Teaneck. And of course, Fuchs Mizrahi trying to make this March Madness into March Mayhem. We've seen some upsets today. Cats taking care of business. Ramaz, the Yeshiva champion, is going down. Can Mizrahi continue the March Mayhem? We'll find out soon. Don't go anywhere. We've got Mizrahi versus TABC coming up after this. My story started with a letter in the mail. I took my first steps in New York and felt the energy all around me. I connected with my Rebbe on the first day of Sheer. My story was learning that the mitochondria is more than just the powerhouse of the cell. I made my painting from scratch. Like, really, from scratch. My roommates came here from four different countries. We lit one menorah together. My story was practice every night. Chavruta every night. Subway rides. City lights. In my story, my name was in the headlines. The bylines. The University Museum. My story was my internship at the Supreme Court. Dancing with the Israeli fly in Times Square. My story was participating in the only hackathon, not on Shabbat. The Career Center found me my first job at a top business analytics firm. My story was becoming best friends with my Chavruta. And holding that NCAA trophy. My story started here. My story is just beginning.
TABC alumnus Max Live faithfully Strel Tannenbaum leaving the famous TABC pregame chant. It's rocky, of course, in the Midwest. Their fans are for sure watching at home. Some of them traveling as well. Tip off on your way between Cardi Jacoby. And Tano Bendy. TABC wins the draw. Quick bucket as fast as we started. We've got two points for TABC Storm. Harry Orlinski on the bucket. Aton Joe leading the ball movement as he always does. Defense, 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 defense. And TABC giving Blau a tough time first possession. They're going for transition. And it'll be this Rafi ball, tough defensive play. Great defense there, they just couldn't finish on the other end. Take a position to Jacoby, they're bringing it down the court. Blau coming down. He's a control. And TABC swipes the ball away again. Out of bounds, there's Rafi Ball. Ellie Sachs is a fantastic defender already with two steals in the first minute of the game. He's going to be key for them on defense today. That is right. Ellie Swiper Sachs with a couple of steals already in this first quarter. Kobe on the ball on the outside, tight defense from Storm Jacobs. Driving down, kicking it out to Blau. Blau finds Joel on the outside. Jacoby! A little this and that, TABC gets possession back, but they're waiting for the ball. It's a loose ball. Jump ball, and it's going to be for Nahan. Is Rafi able to get looks inside, but they have not been able to finish just yet. But they're getting those looks. And TABC is only aggressive on defense thus far. We're curious to see how that continues to play. Kamenetsky tough to on Blau. And Saps handing it down in transition. But his Rafi takes it right back. Another turnover. Saps coming down. No call, Joe the rebound. Jacob's taking the ball. And TABC sending it right back. No shortage of fast breaks as Orlinski gets on the board. 4 0 Storm. Great finish there with the left hand. They're up 4 0 here, first two minutes. We certainly appreciate a fast paced game, but both teams might benefit from slowing it down a little bit with all these turnovers. Jacoby looking for his guy, and he finds his brother. A foul call. ABC fans, rowdy and loud, as excited as ever. They've been ready for this moment, traveling over the bridge, to cheer on their team. Down, hands to Blau. Blau feeds Jacoby, Jacoby, turn around. Won't go. Kamnetsky with the rebound, and they're coming down fast. Another bucket. 6 nothing for TABC, and that's a timeout. TABC is looking great. Youth. Needs to be a little more patient on offense and get better looks. Have yet to score. Absolutely. Now, NCSY Summer is the premier summer trip provider for Jewish teams across the world. Over 20 plus programs in the U.S., Israel, and Europe. NCSY Summer is a program for you. Visit summer.ncy.org to learn more and choose your summer experience today. Sam Levitt, a proud NCY Summer alumnus, me as well. And there's a program for everyone. There definitely is. Kamenetsky clearly showing he's an NCY Cole alum with those ball moves. Dukes to inbound the ball, down 6 nothing early on in the first quarter. Some press defense by TABC. They're confident on defense as they should be. 
it'll stay with Mitch Maffey, but CABC keeps on giving a hard time on team. Great move right there from Blau. He's showing what he could do. Fast offense. Deep range. Nope. Probably coming at the ball, but it's a jump. This time, we'll stay at the score. Hey, Sam, what do you think about the aggressiveness thus far in the first quarter? I mean, it's, it's been working for them so far. Getting those fast break layups. Just got to get settled in their offense. Absolutely. Ball is sent in. Yablok yeah, making a move. Dishing that out to Sachs. A deep pass to Orlinski. Orlinski sending it back to Ben Lulu. And a reach in on Jacoby. Man, faithful don't love that, but. The TABC Storm fans do. Set. Making a move and getting the bucket by Ben Lulu 8 2. CABC, a strong start for Storm Nation. That was one of our keys to the game, him taking over already with a quick bucket. And Blau's going to try to respond. Won't get the look, so he'll send it to his teammate Jacoby. Jacoby gets called for a travel and will go the TABC way. Just tuning in, eight for TABC, two for Dukes Mizrahi, a little over halfway through the first quarter. Kobe playing up, ball gets sent to Ben Lulu from deep. Yes, sir, the Queen Anne Cannon, 11 to 2 TABC. This is a good sign for TABC, already with five points. If he plays well today, Dukes is going to have a tough time coming back. And especially with your big guy getting an open look from deep and sending it home, that's big. Blau coming in, fishing it out to Jacobs. Nope, won't go, and Sachs, the point guard, gets the rebound there, coming down in transition. Tominetsky. That's his favorite move, but it won't land this time. Jacoby with the rebounds. And Tominetsky fighting the loose ball. Jump ball. And there's just no quick for either team, but it's going for the storm thus far. 11-2, to it's the ABC. defense for TABC. It'll stay with the Mayhem. Again, they're getting the ball inside. Just, just haven't been able to finish just yet. Well, this Storm defense is more stifling than anyone could have imagined. Blau coming in. Finds Jacoby. Jacoby making a move. Won't go this time. Shkaya. That's exactly what Fuchs needs. And the thing is with Ari Jacoby, he's so unpredictable on offense. You have no clue what he's going to do. Ben Lulu sending it home. He's got seven already. A great class from Orlinski. Oh, where those eyes came from? He just found the Lulu across the court. Wow, making a move. Won't go. But Jacoby's got it. And Jacoby will send it in. Yeah, that's two in a row for Jacoby. If he does this, it'll be a good sign for them. Kobe showing his passion, the TBC fans responding with theirs. Kamenetsky mid range. He loves that shot, but he'll be down below. And it seems like YU fans are supporting this draft right now. Good spirit for each side. Jacobs handling the ball. Kobe finds Blau. Blau almost took the shot, but Kanetsky was right there. Oh, 
Oh, Jacoby. Count it. He is feeling it. He feeds off the fans. The fans are giving him a tough time. He's going to respond right back. for sex. And Blau trying to take it down. Off play, Joel. Oh, got two shots. Yeah, Fuchs has all the momentum right now. Getting inside, getting layoffs, and they're going to the line for two. Throws gonna land. And uh, we'd like to thank Dougie's for being a proud sponsor of Max Live. For the best barbecue and grill in Scenic, make your way to Dougie's. Go to Dougie'sBBQ.com to order. And link in the description of this video. No sleep on that junior combo from Dougie's. Split with a friend. It's sure to be a great dinner. Joe, two for two for the charity. Strike for it's one position game. The ABC off to a fantastic start, but Mizrahi climbing right back in, three points. Good ball movement from TABC. Mizrahi not getting anything easy. Anthony coming into the game, making his presence known. 15 to 10 under a minute left in the first frame. A great take there by Eckman, getting inside, getting the legs to go. And it's great for TVC to have that energy coming off the bench, getting them to go. And now stay the balls with Fuchs Miz Rafi. First five from Ms. Rafi have played the entirety of the first quarter. As Joe in that. Sends it to the shooter Jacobs. Jacobs wants to Blau. Blau coming in. And Jacoby takes care of the offensive board. Great ball moving by Mizrahi. Let's see if they hold for one here with just a one second to France. Nope, they'll shoot it. They won't, they'll shoot it, and it won't go. It'll be a good board for TABC. Ekman getting it done on both ends of the court. This time drive down. TABC looking for a good play, and give Ekman two from the free throw line. Either team waiting for the last few seconds to get a shot off. They want to score now. Absolutely. And the TBC Storm fans are reminding Ms. Rocky of the rules. What's a foul, what's not? Okay. First one will go. And you'd like to thank Blake Como. Come to Como Pizza for some great pizza, pasta, salads, and even some breakfast options. They're open at 8 a.m. We will be streaming games in the store, making a great place to watch games while you eat breakfast, lunch, or supper. Lake Como is the place for you. And this one won't go, rebound by Blau. Just over 10 seconds in the first quarter. Jacobs from Jimmer range. Yes, sir! Wow. Oh my goodness. TABC leads 16 to 13 after one, but he's rocking to get one possession game with Jacobs from Zeke, and we'll have to commercial break. Back in a moment. Step It Up is not your typical basketball game. We produce unbelievable results. You will get better here. You will get better as a person. You will get better as a player. That's the Step It Up win.
second quarter, 16 TXC, 13 is Rafi. Sam, what are you making this first frame? It was a fast paced first quarter. We'll see if it slows down here in the second. Steel blocks and turnovers galore. Let's see who can maintain the next heading to happen. Zelligan Levine, he handed the ball to Orlinski. Orlinski finding Kalinski. From deep. Oops. Rebound for Jacobs. He had his moment going into the end of the first quarter. For a five point shot, perhaps. As Bob Lupin has a speedy rest, the sixth hand with fire and flames come in. Wow, four defenders, doesn't matter to him. One point game. And Akiva Elbam showing his support from the stands. Three-pointer, and it'll go for three. Great shot, extend their lead to four. The team is just really aggressive on defense, but they've they had some good shoes on the squad. Jacoby, a tough look, and Ekman will get the ball. A charge drawn by Ari Jacoby, and he's as fired up as anyone. Great job taking the charge by Jacoby. He's getting the fans into it. And he'll have to use his energy to get Fuchs back into this game. I'll say it's about Jacoby. Forget that the skill, just, just the fire and passion brings to the game is so good for these rappers. As his twin Yoni brings down. Quite the baller himself. Jacoby, Jacoby chemistry. And they have to try well. And a foul call on Jonathan. It's still early in the second quarter, but beware of foul trouble for each team. With the aggression on defense, they're bound to get some misses. And it's pretty locked in. A couple of crossovers from Zeke. College range won't go. And that's going to be the board. Two free throws for a TABC. Good job that's by good. Joe Mann to draw the foul there. Great job, Joe Mann. Does a good job at this draft and making sure he doesn't get anything easy. Raffle will do that foul all day. Don't give him three points. First shot from man. Won't go. And if I think Chopsticks for being a proud Max Live sponsor for the best Chinese food in Tina Cube, you gotta go to Chopsticks. Go to ChopsticksUSA.com for order online. The link is in the description for the video. See you guys love their Chopsticks, making their Tuesday orders. As the second free throw will land. Five point favor for TABC. Jake is anything from deep, you know, you know his range. TABC not making it easy, a turnover. Man's coming down again. Won't go. Offensive board. No. Jacoby taking it down the other way. Looking for Blau, but can't get it to go. Man's a presence on defense. Ball around from deep. Kind of has the offensive board. He does that so nicely. He finds his guy. Good ball moving from deep. A long two won't land. Another offensive board. Swiped away by Ari Jacoby. The ABC is getting its shots up. Haven't been able to get it on this possession though. For this Rafi team to pride itself on its size, it's got to be getting those defensive boards. Jacoby hoping to shift a little momentum once again as he's done a couple of times already. Oh boy. Led to a quick break with the timeout.
TABC 20, Fuchs 15. This first half has lived up to the hype and then some. But stay tuned for the Step It Up halftime show. Step It Up, producing ballers who can play standard check tier one qualifying games. Kobe and Blau locked and loaded. They're getting each other hyped up. TABC in the huddle. What do you think Coach Oz is talking to the Storm squad about? I mean, I think they're, they're playing very well on defense. I think you just going to tell them to find better looks on offense. They've been able to get looks. They just haven't been able to finish. Just keep keep it up on offense, and eventually the shots will fall. All right, Coach, would you like to say get the looks, and the ball will fall? TMC inbounding. There was another look. Another, another look. two shots out of it. Two shots of foul on Jacoby. I just love the fact that this Rocky team always showing support to each other. One player gets down, the other players bring it back up. You see a ton of Joe and a friend last showing support to their teammate off the foul. And then first one won't go. He's doing a good job getting to the line today. Leitan Gekovic checking in for Mayhem for Ari Jacoby. He's got a couple of fouls already. And it'll go to the Mayhem possession. Five point game, 20 for TABC again, 15 for Mizrahi. Stevie Brennis brings the fire off the bench. Looks like he'll be called up. Sounds like an errant buzzer there. Yeah. And the Storm Faithful making their presence known as they always do. They travel well. It's only 20 to drive to the next round athletic center. He almost has three, he brought it in. Sends to Gek, Gek after Joel. Goes all swing in there. But TABC is relentless. In transition. Yes, sir, Shmuel Yablok. Known for that deep range ball, but he can bring it up too. TABC has played great defensively so far. And he's led to baskets on the fast break. Yeah, nothing goes against this defense. They're not gonna allow anything to get by them. As two points land for Gek, making his first bucket off the bench. We didn't talk as much in the pregame show. We were talking about the star power, but both these teams have a lot of depth. We've seen Man make his make his his moves off the bench. As number 12, Harry Orlinski with a bucket, 24-17 for the Storm. Another great take. TBC's been able to get inside all day. Absolutely. Rybla with the floater, and a Fuchs Mizrahi floater. He gets something by. You see his brother Morty and his father Rabbi Blau getting excited. Grandfather Senior Mashkiach, how you always see Blau from the crowd. A deep shot for Saxon and out. But they'll fight for the ball and they'll get the ball. Reset the shot. TBG is grabbing offensive rebounds left and right. Yeah, but they don't have any sides to really make up with effort. College range three, and it'll land. Eight point lead for the Storm. It's the first one, didn't hesitate, hit the second one. I love that, a shooter's got to shoot, Sachs just did it. Showing he himself is a Queen and cannon. Jacobs from deep, in and out. As TBC will go right back there, just so fast. Good ball movement. Too close to the big man, won't land. These rims have been a little unfriendly in the last two possessions. Yeah, absolutely. Both teams like to see nicer rims. Blau, another floater this time won't go. Rebound by Ekman. Oh, whistle! What a two point bucket. What a circus shot, Ellie Sachs. Ellie Sachs making moves. Somehow got it to go. And TV's got their bigs in the day, 10 points. This team has unlimited stamina. They're going so high motor this first half. Brennis from three. Boat lands. Rebound by who else? Second. Sends the ball to Olinsky. 
Wolinski back to Ekman. Ekman from three. Won't go. But Wolinski cleans it up. Two point floater won't go, but Ekman's fighting for it. Ekman is relentless on both sides of the court. And called a dozen point lead for TADC. Third chance opportunity right there. Two offensive rebounds. Fuchs has not been able to grab it on the first miss. And Ekman's just saying, I don't care how good the other team is. I'm going for that ball and I'm going to get it. TADC Storm with their famous mosh pits. Fly Blau won't go. Ekman brought up the ball, love that. He'll get it right back. He'll draw the foul off Blau. I'm heading into halftime. What do you think this Rock has got to do to end the half on a good note? They haven't been able to hit any shots from outside, really. They had that one deep three. But other than that, they have not been successful from beyond the arc. Yeah, you'd love to see them find Jacobs outside a little more. Certainly playing with a fire and passion as both sides are. Only the best coming out of a tier one qualifier. Ekman doing a little Odell Beckham Jr. interpretation. A deep ball from TABC. Won't go, but another offensive rebound. Won't land either this time as Rocky gets the ball, but it's turned back all right over to Sachs. Sachs from deep. Yes, sir. TABC 34 19 lead. The middle left in the half. Now he's hitting their first shot. They're making sure to get a second, third, and fourth. Mizrahi won't go. Swarm won't go down to the fight. Kobe finds Jacobs. Jacobs, the deep look. Yes. There it is. That's what I'm talking about. That's what they need to get back into this game. Yeah, TMC's just not making it easy. They've been so assertive, both inside and outside on defense. But if you get Jacobs those looks, they're going to land. Just a second differentiating the game clock and the shot clock. We'll have an interview with Coach Katz, Coach Mizrahi at halftime. TMC holding for one as they lead by, four, by 12. Swing the ball around. Blocked by Jacoby, but it'll be a foul call. Coach Oz will be being interviewed by our side of the John O'Catch. Shout out to John O. Just give that head nod. As Rock gets him to go with under three seconds left in the half. Second shot for Wolinski. Won't land. Another offensive rebound. What else is new? Travel and the half is over. 35 for TABC, 22 for Fuchs. As Rock stepping up halftime to a first. Side under two, John O'Catch. Hey guys. We've got a great game here, Coach Oz. Your team has extended the lead to 13 in the last two minutes, playing some aggressive ball. What are you telling your guys in the locker room to help secure the win over Fuchs? Uh, just stay disciplined, stay disciplined. I thought we started off a little bit rattled because of the crowd, but we, we found our rhythm. All right, thanks so much, Coach. I wish you best of luck. Thank you. Thank you, John OTABC working to continue boxing it in as they've done so successfully. We had to the Step It Up halftime show. Don't go anywhere. Step It Up is not your typical basketball camp. We produce unbelievable results. You will get better here. You will get better as a person. You will get better as a player. That's the Step It Up way.
Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Max Jordan Athletic Center. This is the Step It Up Basketball Camp Halftime Show. We've got big news. We are excited to announce that Camp Step It Up is moving to Hobart College in Geneva, New York for summer 2022. Camp's going to start on June 22nd and end on August 3rd. Hobart's located just four and a half hours north of New York City, and busing will be offered to camp from New York City and Teaneck every week. Camp is open to all boys and girls grades 3 through 12 with a one to six week op with one to six week options available. Gorgeous campus facilities include air conditioned rooms, indoor basketball courts, a weight room, lakefront and beachfront on and near campus, lounge and more. For more information, email office at campstepitup.com or visit timestepitup.com. There's some really good stuff here. Over 50 campers compete in Saratech each and every year. We've had, they've had many MVPs and many champions. 2020 NBA draft pick came from Camp Step It Up. Step It Up, Jan Madar. 60 former players have played college ball. It's six currently on the Division III YU Max. I think I'm going to change my summer plans now. What about you, Sammy? Perhaps, perhaps. Now, quite the first half. What's your biggest takeaway thus far for the TABC Storm? The TABC has done an incredible job on the defensive end, getting in the passing lanes, blocking shots, and and the steals are leading to fast breaks. Ellie Sachs is having an unbelievable game so far, knocking down a couple of threes. Um, he's being a menace on defense. And Fuchs really needs a prime blow to play better than he has been. He's been good, but they're going to need him to go along with Ari Jacoby if they want to come back in this game. And don't forget for TBC, it hasn't just been the defensive front of the big threes. When they miss a shot, it doesn't matter. They're constantly getting the offensive boards and stealing it on the offensive ends. What's going on right from Mizrahi? They've They've been getting looks inside. They just need to, they just need to finish more. Absolutely. Fuchs Mizrahi brought it just a one-point game early on in the second quarter. CABC pulling away towards the end of the first half. Another big thing is if Fuchs wants to get back into this game, they're going to have to grab the first rebound. TBC is getting an offensive rebound on almost every possession, which is crazy. But Fuchs is going to need to get that first rebound if they want to they want to come back in this game. Absolutely. Mizrahi certainly has the size and skill to make it a close one, but the Storm currently by Baker's doesn't. Now some early warm-ups for the second half begins for the Mayhem and for the Storm. Tremendous first half. I just want to shout out the energy in this room. I can barely hear myself think the passion from the fans. What's that been like for you, Sammy? The fans have been great and loud. They're getting into it. And it's not just the fans of the MSAC TABC for TABC and Fuchs Mizrahi. TABC's got quite a few fans on 1600 Queen Anne Road. Shout out to Harry Nachbar, Sheer sticking it out in Yeshiva. Well, of course, coming to begin afterwards. And Mizrahi's got so many fans in Beachwood, Ohio. Have a nice Mitchell's milkshake. Enjoy Fry Blatt and Ari Jacoby do their thing. Let's see if we can make it a close one. 13 point game, TABC favors, but it's still anyone's. Another two quarters of basketball to play. We head over to sideline reporter John O'Katz, who's going to talk to Coach Katz of the Mizrahi Mayhem. Hey guys, I'm here with Coach Katz. Coach, your team's coming from Cleveland, Ohio. You haven't played in an atmosphere here like this where you have TABC fans yelling. What are you telling your players to keep their cool? Just calm down. We practice a lot of noise in the, in the gym, just making sure we're patient on offense and we got to box out on defense. Sounds great. Your team is down 13. What are some of your keys going forward to take this upset? Just uh, limit the second chance shots and be patient in offense. That's real. They got a bunch of points on second chance offense and we're not boxing out well. All right. Best of luck, Coach. Coach Katz with some sound advice. Just do your thing. This is a team that's tremendously talented. They've played big games before. Do your thing. Do the small stuff. Box it out. They can make this a game. Second half on our way in just a couple of moments. Coach Katz and Coach Oz getting in their final piece of advice before the second half begins. We have a Valley Torah alum in the house. We all know who that is. Second half on our way, 35 points for TABC, 22 for Fuchs Mizrahi here in the MSAC. It's a tier one qualifier, TABC the three seed, Mizrahi the 14 seed. A lot of hype going into this game with the star power and depth of each team. It certainly lived up to all the excitement and then some. Yeah, TBC, they're trying to get into the Tier 1 championship game potentially for the first time in their school history. And this is the first step. Getting a win today would put them in the Tier 1 bracket. So they're looking to hold on to this lead and put themselves in a position to potentially win it all. Absolutely. Winning team will play Yavne who pulled off the March Madness up to the refresh. And the losing team will face Christian in a difficult tier two match. 
The draft will start with the ball as Storm won the tip. Fans getting out of the way. And the TABC Storm fans have recovered from halftime. The draft started the ball. And go looks outside. Bring it home. Jacobs a tough two. Won't land. And a good rebound for TABC. Joe, great job keeping it in. Spoke to Coach Katz before the game. He said he loves it. Akon Joel as he does little stuff. He makes that effort just to get things done. Brad Lau finds his team out Jacoby. Jacoby going to pick on the corner. He's going to come in. Find Lau. Jacobs contested three. Won't land. Very by Fry Blau. Jacoby. Can't ask for a better start from this draft. You can, Sammy. Great job there by Jacoby. Picking up second chance points. TABC, good ball movement. They just move the ball so quickly. Got a lot of guys on the outside. They're coming inside. A tough two. A foul by Jacoby. And Harry Orlinski will get two chances from the free throw line. TABC fans once again reminding his draft with the rules of basketball. First one will land. Want to receive Sarah check news and updates and get close game alerts? Join our WhatsApp group. The link is in the description of this YouTube video. Certainly don't want to miss a moment of this Sarah check. Such an exciting day one. Second free throw won't go, but he gets zone rebound. Sending it to the star, Ben Lulu. Game back to 13. Another offensive rebound and putback for TABC. Great job by that. Absolutely, the shooters even get involved in the rebound. Jacobs from deep, yes sir! We talked about him pregame. If he can hit from deep, they might have a chance here. Nate Jacobs, nine points. All of them come from beyond the arc. He doesn't care which line is behind. He's going from college range. Fry Blau! The slammer! Jammer! Fry Blau! The slammer! Jammer! Raise the roof. Raise the roof indeed. We've seen the videos. We just saw it in person. And the MSAC is erupting at the F Fry Blau dunk. Deep three from TMC. Won't go Jacoby with the board. And Mizrahi fans have momentum. Jacobs giving the ball to Jacoby. Wow. Tough two, but it'll go in. It's a six point game. He is feeling it now, trying to get his team back in and only down six. Absolutely, and that dunk was worth a whole lot more than just two points. Kamenetsky, Jacoby one on one. Kamenetsky doing his move. That timeout called. What a start to this first half. A deep three, a ferocious dunk. We head to commercial break with the timeout. You see, I may feel a little bit shorter because the roof was just raised by Fry Blau. That was an incredible fast break dunk by Blau. Absolutely, Mizrahi's making it a game. TABC still leads by eight. All Saturday check games are played at Chief University will be broadcast on MaxLive.com and the MaxLive YouTube channel. Subscribe to MaxLive on YouTube. Turn on notifications so you don't miss a single Saturday check broadcast. After that dunk, I'm pretty sure that you do not want to miss a single Saturday check broadcast.
Ball being swung around. Deep threat. Jacob sends it to the point guard. Joel. Joel finds Jacoby. Yoni Jacoby, that is. Yoni finds brother Ari. Jacoby. Jacoby chemistry making Mama proud. It's a seven point game. Incredible pass, incredible finish. And you know, they've been practicing that for 17 years together. Looks like all that work's paid off. <laughs> Suddenly, it's quite a contest, but Seth swinging by, sends it to Konetsky. It won't go. He'll get his own rebound. This time won't go. Same team. Blau with the rebound. I, I would love to see Seth on a 40-yard dash the way he swifts around the court. Rybelow stolen by TABC. They're going down to the fast break. Jacoby with the swipe. Chase down block there. What a play. Chase down block indeed. Board from TABC. Mizrahi is certainly creating quite the, quite the highlight reel here in the second half. Mizrahi tightening the gap. The TABC Storm fans are relentless. Orlinski driving by everyone. And making it look easy. It looks like Fuchs is getting back in it, but TABC with a couple of layups to extend the lead back to nine. Absolutely. You know TABC is not getting anything up too easy. Blau with a very deep three won't land. And Ben Lulu, the star junior from Storm Nation. Sending it down to his co-star, Kamenetsky. Kamenetsky doesn't get it. And if Ryan Blau driving down, Blau sends to the point guard, Joel. Joel with the layup won't go. Blau fighting for the rebound, but Kamenetsky says, no, sir, that's my ball. TABC with another bucket. Jacoby blocked the last one, but he couldn't get that one. Blau got that one to go. Transition layups, the name of the game in the first half, and they're making the name of the game in the second half as well. We've got a timeout. TABC taking some momentum back. They leave 44-33. We had to a break. behind the scenes pictures and content you won't find anywhere else be sure to follow at max live on instagram and twitter so many illustrious fans in the crowd senior mashkia of yeshiva university you'll see blau cheering on his grandson fry blau now by channelists making it the channelist bowl rebbe in both tbc and fuchs rafi over the years and another shift of energy from tbc going into the commercial break taking the momentum back what do you make of that sammy well it was getting close but they've extended it and they're going to look to double. And TABC defense never giving it up easy. Sacks with the layup again. And they're back up 13. Storm fans excited for obvious reasons. See that Bakers does in the deep three from Brennis. Won't go. Orlinski taking the ball back. And Lugu got the ball. Sends it to Sacks. Sacks from way deep. Won't land, and Yoni Jacoby gets the board. Now we know Mizrahi is quite capable of bringing this one back to being a nail biter, as they did earlier in this quarter. They got to find the momentum again. Blau kicking out to Jacobs. Jacobs! Is that Nate Jacobs or Steph Curry, Sammy? I mean, he's looking like him right now. Absolutely 12 points all from deep. TABC sending the ball around. Kamenetsky's got it. Sends it to Ben Lulu. Back to Kamenetsky. No rush for TABC, but Jacobs is getting into trouble. Ben Lulu, the footer, won't go, but he'll get his own board. The only Jacoby fights, makes it a jump. It's going to stay with Storm Nation. It's been the story of the game. TABC fighting for extra possessions, and they'll get another one here. And every time you think, okay, TMC no longer has the ball, they come and get it. Again, whether it's through the boards, through stealing, they're relentless. Kamenetsky, a tough layup, but it'll go. Mizrahi driving down the court. 
Wow, the tough two won't go. Out of bounds, send it back to Stormway. Well, as Coach Katz said at halftime, if you're Mizrahi, just stay calm, keep doing your thing. This team has got the talent to keep it close. And they just have to remember that. But of course, the TABC Storm, no shortage of talent, but even more so the effort has made, it, has made this quite the contest for them. Ben Lulu driving down. Tough two, won't go. And Fry Blau bringing down the board. That's what teams need to do, grab the first miss. Now they got to score here. Exactly. Keep themselves in it. Exactly, every team misses shots. It's about making sure you bring the rebound back. Oh, with the pass to Jacobs. Jacobs from three, tough look, won't go. Storm Nation bringing the ball back. Almost swipe by Fred Lau. With the look, Joe Mann doing it again. 14 point lead for TABC, just under a minute left in the third quarter. Good ball moving from Mizrahi. Jacobs, the long two, and an injury stoppage. Looks like he got popped in the mouth, but he got up. Looks like he's okay for now. Probably right, got roughed up a little bit. And just tuned in. Just over a half minute remaining in the third quarter. TABC 50, Mizrahi 39. Teams with the ball back. And a tough shot from around the free throw line. It's going to land. Two straight pull of jumpers from Mann. When we spoke about the depth of each of these teams. Mann is making his presence felt. He's done quite a lot off the bench. We know he's a shooter. He's also quite the ball handler, apparently. What a move by Jacob. And the third quarter winding down. Kamenetsky, one last look. Won't go, but TABC leads by 11, 52-41 over the Fuchs Mizrahi Mayhem ends the third quarter. Don't go anywhere, we have one more quarter of basketball. Coming back to this. When I was in ninth grade, someone told me to give up on ball. He told me, basketball will only take you so far in life. You're not gonna make it to the NBA, he said. What he was missing is that making it to the NBA isn't the only reason why we play. The game of basketball leaves you with so much more and just the game itself. The life lessons and friendships that are made while playing the game will outlive the game and can last a lifetime. We're back for the, first, for the fourth quarter. TABC 52, Mizrahi 41, eight minutes left in the game. Sarachek has arrived. Max Live is your home for the tournament. Watch games, news, stats, and more at maxlive.com, N-A-C-S-L-I-V-E.com, maxlive.com. Your home for the Red Sire Check Tournament. Coy bring the ball up. Brennis off the bench. Getting involved in the action. Ari Jacoby. Good luck, won't land. TABC going for their fast break bucket, but Mizrahi regroups on defense quite quickly. He's got the ball against Blau. That was that match we spoke about in the pregame show. Shot clock winding down to 10. Orlinski sneaking around, making it a 13 point game once again. He's been finishing near the basket all day, and getting some tough layups to go. Yes, he has. We mentioned that Mizrahi has a size advantage, but CABC is being thrifty. Another turnover with Sachs making it happen. 
Sacks to Orlinski. Orlinski again. PABC not looking to slow it down here in the fourth. And Orlinski has something made in his ball game. Each quarter feels like has a different story. Timeout by Mizrahi as TABC starts off the fourth frame with fire. And the TABC fans with their famous let's go storm. 15 point lead for TABC, we head to a break. We're back early in the fourth quarter. TABC starting off the quarter with conviction led by Harry Orlinski. Brennis feeds Blau. Blau, the tough look, won't go. Rebound by Ben. Ben Lulu, swiped by Jacoby, straight to the other Jacoby. That was Ari Yoni. Jacobs, a deep three, won't go this time. And number 41, Tunnel Ekman. Did quite a bunch in the first half as TBC brings the ball down. Well, each quarter has been a different story for TBC. In the first one has been Lulu, second it was Sachs. Now Orlinski going again! He is taking over here in the fourth, extending the lead to 17. Absolutely. Another swipe by Sachs. He is relentless on defense. Kobe swipes away, Ben Lulu picking it up for the three-pointer, won't go, rebound by Jacobs. And Sam, you spoke about in the pregame show the importance of TABC taking care of the ball. They're doing quite a lot to make it tough for the other teams to take care of the ball. They have been. And another three by Nate Jacobs, keeping this Mizrahi team part of the competition. Now we said before the game, Nate Jacobs gets his looks, they go in. He's getting it done today. Rebound by Ari Jacoby. That's a tough look for TABC. Yoni Jacoby will bring it up. Just over five minutes left in this competition. 14 point lead for the Storm over they have. Jacobs showing the handles. They'll call a reach on Harry Orlinski. Mizrahi will in down the ball. Well, Sammy, under five minutes, what's your mindset for Coach Katz and the Mayhem? Get the best look and get shots up. There's not that much time left. Maybe get, get plays for Jacobs behind the line, hit some threes, try to get back into it. Absolutely, but at the same time, you can't play desperation ball. There's still too much time for that. Jacobs, the handles. Step back two, gets it to go there within a dozen here in the M set. ABC's been shooting early in the shot clock in the last two possessions. Let's see if they slow it down here with a 12-point lead. Possibly still too much time for that, but we'll see if they go with that strategy. They'll send the ball around. Certainly don't need to rush a shot if you're up by a dozen. Orlinski gets the foul call he so desired. Fans are tuning in from all over the country, all over the globe. No one wants to miss this Mizrahi versus Storm matchup. Just tuning in, TABC up by a dozen. The storyline for them has been defensive effort and second chances. Well, the draft has made quite a few highlights. A deep shot from Ekman. Won't go. But another offensive board. This time won't go. A third chance for TABC Storm. Orlinski sending it out. This time it will go. For Natana Ekman. A 6-2 forward. Yet another third chance opportunity for TABC, and they catch it in. Now again, no, no team's gonna shoot 100%, but if you get those second, third, fourth looks, you're not gonna go away with that points. Wolinski almost swiped that ball away, but Mizrahi recovers. Brennis, Jacobs, swing around to Blau. Blau coming in. Give him two shots from the charity stripe. T 
CABC leading by 15 for Iblau. Two shots, trying to get it from 13. And watch out, Mizrahi. Chris Sachs is about to come back into the game. Ari Northman checking in for Yoni Chloe. First shot on the Blau. Here comes the second. That one won't go. He's gone by Ben Lugo. CABC's got possession. Sacks up with the man. Man's been quite the presence today. Ackman coming in. Making a move, won't go. Gets his own rebound though. The story of TABC's day. This time a three ball, won't go. But yet another rebound for TABC. They'll keep possession. They are not giving away the ball. It's been a tough day on the boards for Mizrahi. Absolutely, but even when they get the board, TABC swiping it away in the offensive paint. Flip the ball up from Connell Ekman. Ekman sending around sacks. Sacks making a move. Florida won't go, but look at the foul call. Two shots from the line. Grabbing on his shoulder after that play. Hopefully he's okay. Yeah, seems to be a bit shaken, but he's going to remain in the game. And just watch out. CABC pulls away with this one. The fans will go ludicrous, as they always do. First shot won't go. Now again, the winner of this matchup faces Yavna Academy out of Dallas who upset Frisch. And the loser plays Frisch. Just over three minutes in this game. 15 point lead for the TABC Storm. Out of Queen Anne Road in Teaneck. Ari Jacoby. Trying to play, but a hero ball and gets two points to go. Time out, we head to break just under three minutes. It's still a game here in the MSAC. Reminder to stay tuned for the next game. This game's been quite thriller. We're expecting another one. Valley Tora, the juggernauts out of the West Coast versus the tournament host, MTA Lions. You don't want to miss that. TABC sending the ball up. Ekman powering his way through. Tight defense by TABC. By Mizrahi, but TABC gets the ball back again. Second, third, fourth chance. They don't give up the ball. TABC again. This time with the end one. Joe Mann doing it again. Joe Mann giving TABC good minutes off the bench, and he's been scoring a lot here late. Yeah, not just good minutes. I'd say great minutes. He is getting it done. TABC fans on their feet. Under two and a half minutes left to go here in the MSAC in this tier one Sarachek qualifier. And one indeed. A 16 point lead for the Storm.
stay tuned for the Clip Post Game Show as we will interview Harry Orlinski getting it done in the fourth quarter and Tonell Ekman. You don't want to miss this post game show. Talk to both teams about talk to TBC Storm about what went into this thriller of a game. The Jackson trying to conserve some time in the clock. Rolling the ball down. Adi Sharvi checking into the game, six foot four, but quite the shooter as well. Kobe back passes it. You don't want to give Sharvi an open look. Wow, push, step back, yes. Mizrahi gets into the 50s. And Ari Jacoby with the swipe, it on not TABC's ball though. Under two minutes left in this competition. 65 TABC, 51 Fuchs, Mizrahi, Mayhem. The quick post game show after this. And once again, you want to stick around for the next game. Valley, Torah, MTA, the two versus the 15. Kaneski getting on the floor. Ball being sent around for TABC. Ekman again! As the Storm extend their lead to 16 points with 100 seconds remaining in regulation. Well, that's a commercial break. back. Just kidding, false start. The MTA Lions getting warmed up for their competition against Valley Toro. Coming up soon here in the MSAC. Now what a day it's been for Tier 1 qualifiers. We've seen upsets, we've seen thrillers. What do you make of it, Sammy? It's been a great day of basketball so far. We're only halfway through the day. Looking forward and to some forget, good games there's, later. Absolutely. There's still Friday. No two Shabbos, Sunday and Monday. Quite the tournament we have here at Saratchuk. A foul call on TABC. Yeah, TABC continuing to play aggressively even with a minute 30 left up by 16. Well, as Coach Oz is treating them wire to wire, they don't give up for a minute. Brennan's to inbound the ball. And Jacobs gets swiped down. Ball will remain with Mizrahi. The ABC fans are getting excited. 93 seconds remaining in this one. Wow's got the ball. He had that second quarter mama slam jam. Brennis from deep gets it to go. Kaminsky. Send it around. Now Kaminsky's got the ball. Out of bounds, ball will remain with the storm as Joshua Linsky steps into the game. So from wire to wire, the story's been THC's relentless defense and second, third, and fourth chances on offense. Drive Lau had his moment with the big mama, mama slam jam. A couple big threes by Jacobs. Rather than that, THC's been controlling tempo here in this one. Clock crosses a minute as Storm Nation still leads by Baker's dozen. Let's see, won't get that one to go. Ari Jacoby sending it down. Big bucket for Mizrahi by Steve Rennis. Game with an 11. But the clock is winding down under 40 seconds to go. Orlinski. 
Hunts gets the ball back. Blau playing aggressive kill the last second. Deep shot from Orlinski won't go. And with 20 seconds left, it seems like TABC Storm will keep on dancing. They'll play Yavin at 8 tomorrow here in the MSAC. And Zrachi will play Maimonides at TABC. Fans are quite familiar with them at this point at 9 o'clock. 10 seconds remaining. Stick around for the clip post game show. And then Valley versus NTA. Well, this game was always going to be about who was going to dominate inside the paint. And TABC did that all game on the offensive end, on the defensive end, grabbing rebounds, putting back layups. And they're going to come out with the victory. Absolutely. Certainly a lot of talent across both squads, but TABC making the extra effort on both ends of the court. That was certainly the key to victory. Again, we're going to Harry Orlinski and Atano Eflin after the game. As the Storm Faithful get on their feet. Mizrahi will keep fouling until the buzzer, it seems. Shout out to all the Max Live fans watching around the world for this Tier 1 thriller. And of course, thank you to Ari Schaff, our producer, Keith Poppers, the director, Andrew Jacobs, and the associate director. Ezra Emerson on Tech Operations, Derek Fuller, Ezra Jacobs, Rafi Shaplantic on the camera. Daniel Harwood's covering stats, Avi Nat along with him doing the stats, and Motion Master with the graphics. That's it for us in this one. Yoni Laub. Sammy Levitt, 67-58, TABC. We head to the post-game show. We head silent reporter John O'Katz. Stay tuned. We'll go to John O'Katz in just a minute. TABC will play tomorrow. My story started with a letter in the mail. I took my first steps in New York and felt the energy all around me. I connected with my Rebbe on the first day of Sheer. My story was learning that the mitochondria is more than just the powerhouse of the cell. I made my painting from scratch. Like, really, from scratch. My roommates came here from four different countries. We lit one menorah together. My story was practice every night. Chavruta every night. Subway rides. City lights. In my story, my name was in the headlines. The bylines. The University Museum. My story was my internship at the Supreme Court. Dancing with the Israeli flag in Times Square. My story was participating in the only hackathon, not on Shabbat. The Career Center found me my first job at a top business analytics firm. My story was becoming best friends with my Chavruta. And holding that NCAA trophy. My story started here. My story is just beginning. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Max Stern Athletic Center, where the TABC Storm has just defeated the Fuchs Mizrahi Mayhem by a score of 6751. This is the quick post game show clip. Crowd sponsor the 2021 MLB draft pick, Ellie Kligman. Show who you are, no compromise. Let's sound down for our sideline reporter, John O'Katz, for an interview with Harry Olitsky and Atana Lechman. Hey guys, I'm here with Harry Linsky and Natano Ekman. Harry, you had 17 points tonight, Natano 10. Both amazing offensive performances. But let me know, your defense was astounding tonight. What were some of the keys going forward on defense? Well, TBC came into the season as a defensive team and we've been that way the whole time. We like to, we like to play great defense, steady defense throughout and that's the key, to stay in it. To be honest, I don't even think we're great on D. We let up 53 points. Last game we let up 38 to the one seed. Like, I think this was not a good defense performance. I just think we scored a lot. So All right, I appreciate your honesty. One last question. You're facing Yavna next from Dallas. Yavna today upset at Frisch. What are you guys going to do to prevent upset for you? I think we got to keep Bain Ash in check. He's my boy from Texas. But he had a great game tonight. But I think we could keep him in check and we'll win. If we play like we did on offense today, we're going to win. There's no question. If we play our best game, we'll win the tournament. Lock that. All right. I appreciate that. Yeah. Good luck, guys. Thank you. That'll wrap it up for us. Next we have MTA Lions versus Valley Torah. I'm the only lab with Sammy Levitt signing off.